What's up guys, my name is Witty, and today we're going to talk about another error code that a lot of people constantly seem to get. This one is the EOS login issue. It may look like what's on the screen now. It may also look like this simply. Now, there are two ways to fix this, and it does depend on what version of the game you're playing. If you're on Game Pass, we're going to do it one way, and if you're on Steam, we're going to do it another. So, for the Game Pass users, first things first, you are going to open Credential Manager. If you hit your start button on your keyboard and type in Credential Manager and just hit enter, this will pop up. We are going to select Windows Credentials, and then we are going to scroll down and look for one that is XBL GRTS Device Key. It should look just like this. And we are going to simply click on this one and remove it. And once this is removed, if you are on Game Pass, you should be good to go. Now, onto the Steam version of the game, which is a little more complicated, admittedly. So we are going to hold our Windows key and hit R. And here we will type reg edit, and hit enter. Now, once this opens, we are looking for H key current user. And inside of here, you're going to be looking for the software tab. We're going to find Microsoft. We are going to find Windows inside of Microsoft, which is going to obviously be at the bottom. And then we are going to find current version. And last but not least, we need Explorer. We are looking in this folder here for shell folders. Now, once you're in here, you need to look for the key personal, which is this one right here. And this should be set to documents. If it's set to something else, which very often with this error, it will be set to either a OneDrive or another hard drive or something along those lines, make sure this is set to documents. And in order to do that, you can right click it, modify, and simply put in documents here. Now, as you can see, mine is currently set to OneDrive. So I would simply remove the OneDrive portion of this and then hit OK. Once you have done that for shell folders, Scroll down just a little bit more and we're going to repeat the process for user shell folders. So we're going to find the personal key. We're going to open it up and we're going to simply remove the OneDrive part. Now you should be able to close this out and boot your game up as normal. Hopefully that was able to help you guys out. I know this was a little bit longer of a solution, but it is a little more complicated and touchy, especially since we're messing with the registry of Windows. And yeah, you know, uh, hopefully I fixed your problem. If not, feel free to drop a comment and I will try to help walk you through some other solutions. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.